In this episode of Automower Answers, we're going to talk about corridor settings. We're going to try to explain how that affects the performance of the automower, when you should adjust the corridor settings, and what the difference is between corridor settings and automatic passage handling. The video we're about to show you is one that we uploaded to our Robotic Mower Services YouTube channel. You can find it and many other great automower related videos on the Robotic Mower Services channel. If you haven't subscribed it already, we highly recommend you do. Uh, we will continue posting the Automower Answers videos and some other Automower related content on this channel, but you can find much more of it on the Robotic Mower Services channel because it is basically dedicated to anything and everything Automower. So check that out and subscribe to it. And here we go with our video on corridor settings. In this video, I'm going to explain corridor settings to you, what they're used for, what the purpose of them is, and times where you might have to adjust your corridor settings on your mower to make it function better in the uh, working area you have installed in. So, first thing we need to talk about is what are corridor settings. And the corridor settings are how far the mower can deviate from a wire when following a wire. This works for your guide wires and your boundary wires. Your mower will follow your guide wire coming into the charging station, right? We all know how that works. And the mower can follow a guide wire going out of the charging station to get somewhere in a working area where it needs to go, right? Okay. Now, what you need to know about a guide wire, if you don't know this already, is when you're looking at the charging station, and this is our charging station, by the way, here, the circle with an X, when you are looking in at the charging station, you see the little LED in there in the front. The guide wire is coming out. The mower will always follow to the left of that guide wire. When you look right in at the charging station, whether the mower is going in to charge or the mower is coming out to mow, it will always follow on the left. And if you look at the charging station for a 300 series mower, you even see that you know that's a single guide wire setup. The guide wire comes in and clips under the left of the charging station because that makes it easier for the mower to come in and dock. So, very important that you remember that the mower always travels on the left of the guide wire, coming and going when you're facing the charging station. When you are facing in looking, not the mower, but when you are facing in looking at the charging station, mower always follows on the left. So your corridor settings then, as I was saying, that's the amount of deviation from the wire when it's following the wire. Now on a guide wire, you would have zero through nine for your settings. Zero is right on top of the wire. If you watched our, um, our video where we showed you how to find your wires that are buried underground, we set our corridor setting to zero for our guide wire, no track right on top of it, and we can follow behind. You can put uh, markers in the ground, spray paint, whatever you know where you're your guide wire is at. So we have zero right on top of the wire. Nine would be out here somewhere. Think of it as like a racetrack. You have zero right there at the wire. Then you have one. You have lane two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All different lanes coming back and going out for the automower. The reason for this is because the guide wire is in the middle of the working area, you don't want that mower to be falling on top of the guide wire or right next to it, coming in and going out all the time. Because it's just going to wear a path through your yard. It's going to look like you have a go-kart a go track there or something. So the mower might be coming into the charging station and be at corridor setting 8, you know, way out here. And, and it goes. Then when it comes back out, it might take, you know, uh, number four to get back out there and then coming back in again it might take one so when you have your corridor settings for your guide wire set all the way up to nine you have all this room for this mower to work going out coming in it can pick whatever lane it wants to go in and out through if you narrow it down to where you have you know your corridor setting at five then you just have lane five all the way down to the wire you know and uh down to one which is following right next to the wire that is what happens out here at the boundary wire. The boundary wire corridor settings, one through six. 
one is right next to the wire six would be you know just like with our guide wire you'd have lane one two three four five six and the mower will follow that boundary wire if it's going in using it to go into the charging station it might take lane four you know and stay at that distance the whole way around from the boundary wire into the charging station then if you're using your boundary wire for a remote start location it could follow the boundary out and be at uh you know um position number six so the whole reason why you can't have a zero though like with the, the guide wire for the boundary wire is because the motor will think it's out of bounds so you got one through six on your on your boundary wire that's adjustable as well just like the guide wire you can shrink that down to three if you wanted to um you could set it down to one if you really wanted to and in our video where we show how to find the wires underground we set ours to one so the mower will run right next to the wire so you can figure out where it's at and mark it but anyway getting back to your corridor settings these are your corridor settings for your your boundary wire these are for your guide wire so now why would you have to shrink down the corridor settings on your guide wire why why wouldn't you just want it to have that ability to have all this wiggle room there to keep your grass from getting mounted down or matted down um the big reason is you have to go through an actual physical corridor with your mower and um this is where people get confused between corridor settings automatic passage handling and all that stuff and they don't understand how how the two of those features work and what the purpose of them is so we'll get rid of this here all of our lanes we have our um we have our, our charging station and our guide wire there and where you see this most often is say there's like a fence or something in the yard you have a gate that the mower has to come through so here we'll have our We'll have our fence going out through there and then over here. Now, the first mistake that people make is they put the guide wire right dead center in that opening. For some people, in some instances, it might work. But you want to try to keep that wire to where the mower can follow on the left of that wire going through that gate. So if you move this over here further, you're crunching down on the room that this mower has to go between the guide wire and and through the uh, opening in the gate and you're saying well you know why can't it go over here to this side if it's going back through what about the automatic passage handling well in this instance you don't see a boundary wire through there right this is our opening in our fence you only see a guide wire automatic passage handling what that is for is if your boundary wire uh let's say your boundary wire came here through that opening and it opens up again and same way here your boundary wire would come around through here and then open up again your mower will sense the boundary and know that oh i feel another boundary wire here on this side it's time for me to get skinny to get through here and same way when it's coming back out through it'll say oh boundary wire boundary wire need to get skinny and now i'm through and now i can get fat again and widen out and uh go take care of this mowing but if you have a fence and you run into one of those issues where you have an installation where you're going to be using a lot of wire then you're probably not going to have your wire going through the opening for the gate you're going to be letting the mower bounce in and uh bounce into the or bounce off of the fence so what i'm talking about is you know some people if they have a fence in their yard with a gate they might bring the boundary wire along the fence and go around through the opening and then all the way back out, you know, do the same thing over here. And in that instance, yes, the mower could sense that and it could possibly get through because of the automatic passage handling. But again, you have a, you have a big installation you're doing. So you need to save wire and um, you're not going to run the wire the whole length of the fence in and out next to the fence because uh you need to keep that amount of wire down that you're using so we got like i had originally drawn here we've got an opening in our fence and we got our 
guide wire positioned at the right position so the mower has room to travel on the left. Now, because there's no boundary wire there, like I was saying, the, the mower can come in and just smack on the fence, turn around and start going another way. The battery's going dead, it needs to get back home. It's coming in now, it's on uh, corridor setting lane 9, and it's going to hit the fence, go back out again. And it's going to wander around, it's going to pick up the guide wire, it's going to come back in, and it's going to hit the fence because it's at, you know, lane 5. Can't get through. You go out, you say, well, what about the uh, the boundary wire? Well, our fence runs out here to the boundary wire, so it has no way to get in following the boundary wire because your boundary wire runs under the fence, so it's going to hit the fence, come back out again, it'll pick up the guide wire again eventually, come back in, run into the fence, can't get through because it's trying to go all those areas away from the guide wire. If, by random luck, it's following at zero or one, it can squeeze right through there. And this is why we have the people who set this stuff up like this and the mower goes through and they're like, oh yeah, no problem. But it does it like one out of 20 times. The rest of the time, it doesn't get through there. So the way you would make this work effectively every time is you shrink down the corridor setting. So again, if we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are our different lanes again here. So depending on the size of your opening there, you set your corridor setting to three instead of nine. So now the mower can't go out here. It only has the three lanes to operate in. And now it can get through there. And when it's coming back out, it can deviate. It can take lane one. And then when it's coming back in, it could take lane three or it could take two or zero, whatever. And it'll work effectively. Some people like to minimize the amount of space that they cut um, in a fence or something like that. And they have it only really as wide as the mower. And um, that is where you have to set the corridor settings down to zero most of the time to get through there. If if you're, you're opening in your fence and your gate is, you know, just as wide as your mower, just slightly more, you're probably going to have to go zero and make the, the mower run right on top of the guide wire to get through there. Otherwise, you're going to have that same scenario where it's banging into the uh, the fence or into the, the, the gate, the side of the gate, and turning around and trying to go out. So this is something that a lot of times you have to play around with. You know, sit it there, tell it to get back to home, check it to make sure it's right, you know, check it going out, and do it multiple times. Because like I said, you know, you might have that, that, that fluke um, time where it goes through when you still have your corridor setting set at 9. But then the rest of the time, it's just going to be smacking into the fence. So make sure you have that working properly. Try it over and over again and make sure it's right. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what about tracking? Well, that's the tough part, depending on what mower you have and how it's laid out. You know, yeah, you're probably going to get some tracking here um, if that's the only way in and out for the mower. Now, if you have uh, only one guide wire, you have a 300 series mower, um, yeah, that one guide wire, you change your corridor setting, it's going to stick to that everywhere. So if you have it coming out from the charging station and you have it starting like way out here, every time that it follows that, that guide wire coming in and out of the charging station, it's, it's going to be, um, running at that, that set deviation from the guide wire. So if you have it, your, your, um, your corridor setting for your guide wire, at two, you're going to have zero, one, and two. That's all the further you have to wiggle around there. And if you have it set at zero, again, there's the possibility you're going to end up with some tracking. So when you go to make a, an opening in a fence or something like that, try to leave enough room for the mower to be able to deviate a little bit. So you cut down on the amount of tracking through the hole in the fence and in the rest of the working area when the mower is trying to use the guide wire. Now, if you have a uh, 430X or a 450X, you know, uh, a 435X, a mower with multiple guide wires, you can pick and choose the, the corridor settings for each individual wire. So it's not just, you know, one fits all uh, with your corridor settings. You can pick, uh, you know, if you have guide wire one, um, you could set that down to two and your other ones, you could have at nine. 
So you do have more options and, and more uh, availability for your adjustment of your corridor settings on your, your more premium mowers like your, your 400 and 500 series mowers. Keep that in mind. Um, again, if you have GPS mowing and you have a scenario like I showed you earlier with the, uh, the boundary wire coming through there or even a, a setup like this, you know, GPS mowing isn't always going to be able to get that mower through there. It'll have it mapped out, but you know, if you don't have your, your, um, corridor settings just right, again, the mower could be over here. It could be over here. It, it could, you know, just smack into the fence. It, it's not going to work quite right every time. So you're going to have to change those corridor settings, test it over and over again to make sure it's working properly and functioning the way it should. Same way with going out through. You want to make sure that all that's working right. Another one that's kind of tricky is if you have a scenario like this and the mower has to come around a corner because you might have enough room if the mower is just straight. It might have enough room to have, you know, three as your corridor setting. But if that guide wire would go around uh, a corner there, then coming uh, in and out, it might get tricky and it might hit on there. So if you have your, your guide bar comes out here, let's say, and it's got to go around that way. When the mower's coming in and you have this at three, it'll fit through there if it's dead on, you know, going straight. But when it's coming this way, remember, if it's at three and it's over here and it goes to take that corner, then it could end up here and smack into the fence. So you might have to move your guide wire out a little bit further if you're going to be making a uh, uh, a corner with it so you come on out here further to help accommodate to give the uh, the mower room if you want to go you know one two or three for your corridor setting or your guide wire so it has room to turn and line up to get straight through that opening there with the full um, multiple settings so that's corridor settings that's automatic passage handling um, a lot to grasp there. Hopefully this helped. Um, now you know that they are not the same thing. They don't really even work the same. And um, a lot of times if you have a gate or a tight area where your mower has to get through, adjust your corridor settings and it'll take care of that. Uh, don't rely just on GPS mowing and don't rely just on the automatic passage handling. Or you could end up in a scenario, like I said, where, you know, one out of 30 times it actually works and gets through where it needs to get through. To adjust your mower's corridor settings on the uh, actual mower um, using the mower's menu from the home screen here, you would just press the menu button. If you're already on the menu screen, then you're a step ahead. So just use the uh, arrow keys, obviously, come down here to installation. That's the one with the arrow pointing down to the the blades of grass hit okay then you're going to come down to advanced hit okay and right there at the top you got corridor width hit okay again now at the top you have your boundary your guide wires you can scroll through each one using the side to side arrows when you pick the one you want to adjust hit the down arrow button to go down to that one and you can see there the numbers flashing it was set at nine Nine is flashing. We'll change it to five. So there you go. You just push the uh, the number uh, on the keypad that you want to change it to. And then you just simply, after you change it, go back up. There we go. It's set at five. And now you can go back and go back and until you're ready to start your mower again. That's it. Pretty simple one here. Uh, but the app is actually even simpler to use. And we'll show you that next. To change your mower's corridor settings in the app, you want to bring up the menu. Then you want to go to settings. Then you want installation and then corridor width. And here it even explains the corridor width. And you have your option to change your boundary and all your individual guides. Just make sure to hit the save button at the top when you're all done. Well, there you go. A uh, bit long winded as usual. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it was good enough for you to understand and uh, be able to make sense of corridor settings, um, the automatic passage handling and stuff like that, because that's something that I know even a lot of dealers get confused by because they just think that 
because there's a narrow passage, the mower's automatically going to adjust for it. And they forget that if you don't have boundary wires in there, the mower's just not going to know that it's a narrow passage. So, um, again, hopefully that was explained well enough for you guys there so that you're uh, able to better use these features on your mower and make those installations a little bit better if you're doing them on your own. So, well, that's about it for this video here. Just want to remind you again, be sure to subscribe to the Robotic Mower Services YouTube channel. Check out the Robotic Mower Services Facebook page for some really cool ads and other things. Uh, sometimes there's promotions, sometimes there's giveaways, things like that. You don't want to miss out on. Um, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And check out the Eshelmania TV Facebook page because we put a lot of the, uh, the spec sheets and things like that that we use in our videos up there. So you can get a better look at them and share them if need be. So, all right, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.